Hey everyone, what's up? It's the Unpro Pro, and welcome to the next tutorial. This one was by Herbert Omega, I believe, this uh, this request. It's how to make a cutscene, uh, similar to Pokemans. So, Pokemon, let's get started. So, um, basically, as you can already tell, I kind of made like a small little map here, kind of representing the, uh, the original Pokemon thing. I'm just going to add a few peoples here. Let's find some peoples. Where's that fat lady? Is that like a fat lady? Here? You know what? She'll be fine. And just have her move around randomly. It's just, just this is just to add to more Pokemon kind of feel. Wait, she was over here. She was over here. She like walked around randomly from like. There's also a person like right here, a kid that tells you, "Hey, no, no, you can't go out there." Let me find not monster. Corrupt kid could be a monster for all I know. Who knows? Uh, anyways, I'm not really gonna worry about the signs. But you know, it's just again, it's just for decoration mostly. So basically, what you really want to do. Um, is say have an event. We gotta first. We gotta find where the screen is gonna be. So let's play. And my keyboard is not on the desk. It is in my lap. I reached for the desk. You know what? Somebody give me a derp face. Cause I forgot to put the player here. Just gotta place. You know what? Actually, we can do this instantly. Just place them here. Just, 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 just to like find where the camera is gonna be. So. It ends right a tile underneath that grass tile. You, you can see a tile under this one. So that's where it ends. So what you want to do is have the character and well for our example, Oak, walk or just you can have him spawn or you can have him like walk in the screen by having him one tile underneath the screen. But I'm gonna have him kind of pop up like he does in the um, original Pokemaniacs with the Pokey and the man and the yeah. You know what? Oak is now a king. Yes. Professor Oak. King of Pokemon. So, like, bring your player here or something like, like he just, like, started off, uh, started off with the original Pokemon. Now, what you want to do is have, um, go here, and you see how you have, like, switches and all that. So, we're going to create a new switch, control switches, and if you don't, if it hasn't, make sure you're on a blank one, and name it Pokemon. I don't know. You can name it Pokemon if you want. Um, just delete that. That was just to name it. Now you want to go to Switch. Make sure it's selected the one you just made. Pokemans is on. Otherwise, he's obviously not going to appear. As you can tell, I will show you. See? Hey, where's King Oak? Uh, let, 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 let go. I'm gonna do again. Oh yeah. So right here you want to make an event and you want to put it below characters. Action, player touch. Now we're gonna change some music. Too bad we don't have the original music. That'd be awesome. Let's just change it to this. Actually, let's lower the pitch. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you know what? The the entire game can sound much more epic if you actually lower the pitch of the originals. For some reason I don't know. It's just uh, change music. Say. Uh, by the way, here's uh, interesting text commands. Slash, like a backslash. Uh, C, and in between uh, like the little square things, you can type in a number, and it'll change the text color. So, C to zero. As seen right here, you have blue questions. Yo, you can't go out without Pokemans. Okay, so let's see how this text will look. You can't go out without Pokemans. Now you want to turn on the self switch, or not self switch, I'm sorry, uh, the original switch, the Pokemon switch that you made, and that's going to cause him to appear. And obviously we're going to put another one, which I'll show you how to manage that in a second. It's actually a lot easier. I'm lagging because I'm using Fraps this time to record the entire desktop. Here he comes. It's not obviously not coming yet. But, uh, so you want to count now. So we're here. So you want to count. You want to go here. You want to just press the arrows to count. Up two times. Right three times. Up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times. Up two, right three, up seven. So you want to say move events, which are king. Was, no, event number seven was the king. This is why naming your events is, uh, is good. So, skip if cannot move in case something decides to go in his way, or actually no, no don't skip. So move up twice, right three, 
n of 7 in this situation. So uh, now let's test that out. I know I'm testing a lot. Oh, demons, you gotta click your game. Oh, you can't call it off, man. And he walks ever slowly. Now, before that happens, let's turn the character. So, right after the Pokemon switch is on, go to set move route player, turn down. And now we're gonna add some text. Sorry. Uh, add some text. Slash C dash four. Oh. Or C to zero. And as you can see, it's, his name is Oak in blue. Dude, for Rizzle. Like, get a Pokemon. Follow me. <laughs> Alright, um. Now we're gonna. The hard part is you gotta actually make the character walk back. Now, what we're gonna do is. Well, it's actually not really that hard. You just gotta count. So, we're here, so you wanna go down seven, left three, down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and right one, two, three, four, and up one. Well, that's a mouthful. First, we're gonna have him do it. And we're, okay. Except he doesn't, he moves down. What? I just confused my tits off. Hang on. <laughs> okay. He moves down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. Set move route. Seven. Move down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Left three. Move down eight. And I forgot how many to the right. Yeah, that's right. Er, eight. One, two, three, four. Okay. So press space to edit after you click it. Four and move up and uh uh oh yeah that's right make sure it's not set for weight sorry I just kind of like like a brain fart now copy that and paste it but add one more move down this is gonna be the player this time uh when you uncheck weight it doesn't weight obviously now this time select weight. Now let's test that out. Ever so slow. Oh, do you know what? We have a problem. We need to set him to normal and highest. And the priorities that I just selected. Here he comes! Look at him dot. Uh, dude, first the light did put me as you can see, the player follows. Alrighty! So, now what we're gonna do, uh, instead of move up, what we're gonna do is player turn up. <laughs> turn up, turn up some veggie. <laughs> now we're gonna do control switches Pokemans is off this time. That will cause him to disappear. Now we're gonna have the player move up one and then you can then right after here is where you can kind of have a transfer event like if you want him to go in the building like so. So copy and paste this we're gonna have two of these but the second one since we started here um, you want to have the first, you want to have the king actually move right four times, so he'll line up with the character. And now you want to, when you, um, when you go here, you want to have one more left, so that way he'll line up with the, uh, the scene. And that's literally all there is to it. <laughs> so that's how you make a little cutscene. We can go through these signs. How does that make sense? I'm not gonna question it. What the heck is going on? I'm going through the wall. Can you want to poke me? 
Dude, first of all, get a Pokemon. See if, if somebody. See, there you go. And that's how you, that's how you do that. Now, you want to go here? But he's not gonna be there now. So. Um. Also, before I before I end this, at the end of this, you want to turn cell switch A. Or no, actually no. Hold on. You want to say because if you do a cell switch, the other one can still be activated. So what you really want to do is make another switch called scene one to make sure it's completed. Turn it on. New page switch scene one on and leave it blank. Do the same thing with this one. Cell switches. Scene one is on. Oh, and you want to turn Pokemans off. That way he doesn't like reappear. Um, new page. No, not three. Scene one is on. And go here. And I forgot to add this one on the Pokemon. Alright, it's already on Pokemans. Turn it off. There you go. And if you want, you can have it change the music back, but. There you go. Dude, for real, like, get a book and tell me. Woman, why must you insist on getting in our way? Ah, son. As you can see, it doesn't get activated again. I'm not gonna question that. Okay, then. Alright, so anyways, that's how you do that. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.